broadly neutralizing antibodies by the virtue of the fact they're broad, that means that they neutralize and take out many different strains, so they take care of variability, defy that um, uh, modality, if you like, that HIV's built up. And for many years, um, the field worked with a very small panel of such uh, broadly neutralizing antibodies, the kinds of antibodies we want to induce through vaccination. And then in the last two or three years, we've seen an explosion of, um, uh, of activity in this area with the generation of dozens of uh, broadly neutralizing, highly potent antibodies that if we could elicit them through vaccination would likely provide uh, high levels of protection. So um, that's primarily what I'm going to talk about, what's happened in the last uh, set of the problem and then talk about what's happened in the last two or three years in terms of these antibodies and describe some of the features of them. Um, what some of the antibodies that we're seeing now uh, do in fact uh, recognize the sugar coating of the virus and penetrate it in ways that had not been envisaged uh, whatsoever. So this gives us um, whole sets of new vaccine targets and a lot more information on existing vaccine targets. So the immunogen design people are now uh, coming up with many, many uh, more designs for um, evaluation as vaccines. And I think it's a very exciting time in uh, the antibody side of uh, HIV vaccine uh, discovery.